Why did Metallica outsell Kiss? Let's talk about it. All right, I am referring in this video to an article from Metal Castle on April 22nd, 2022, where Jason Newstead talks about Kiss not selling as many records as Metallica. And one of the reasons that Newstead makes this point is because Kiss formed in 1973, whereas Metallica formed in 1981. And Kiss is well known for its merchandising and commercial flair, where Metallica is kind of just regular guys on stage without much of a production effort behind it and before I go into more details about some reasons why I think Metallica outsold KISS I'd like to remind you to like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the new content I upload new videos virtually every day and then if you look below in the description you'll see links to content that isn't suitable for YouTube due to copyright issues. The article states that Metallica has sold 130 million albums whereas by contrast Kiss has sold 100 million. So Metallica has got the edge almost by a third more and you would think it might be the other way around given the fact that Kiss put so much time and effort into its uh, image and commercialism. So here are three reasons why I think that despite the fact that Kiss is the more obviously commercial band, that Metallica might have sold more albums. So reason number one is just the basic music itself. The way that Kiss approached music was to be oriented almost everything they did around their live performances. Metallica, on the other hand, started off as a very strong subgenre band, an underground band, an independent band that created a original sound. They weren't the only ones doing thrash music. They were one of the pioneers of it. And Kiss was following along in the basic tradition of party, good time rock and roll, and they did it very well. But Metallica actually founded a, a new type of music. The second reason why I think that Metallica might have outsold Kiss is musicianship, meaning that the musicians in Metallica, pound for pound, are just better players than Kiss. I think that Metallica was a more accomplished musical band, and again, that has something to do with changing tastes and time, because in the early 1980s, when Metallica was starting to gain traction, one of the reasons they were so notable to the underground audience was because they were such great musicians, because they prioritized playing with speed and precision, uh, taking elements from progressive rock bands and adding it to heavy metal. And the third and final reason that I think that Metallica might have outsold Kiss goes back to an idea I explored in another video about Kiss's image actually having negative impacts on their ability to connect with their audience. Meaning that at some level, the characters and archetypes that they represent, the superhero archetypes, limit the amount of people that can relate to them. Whereas Metallica having more of an everyman appeal allows for a, a greater audience and and so those are three of the reasons that I think might have something to do with it but it could also be something as simple as the fact that music listening itself and album album sales themselves were reaching a higher peak due to a, the, the greater commodification of music altogether in other words Metallica was riding a wave that existed in the culture and it actually built to a peak and then burned out. So those are three of the reasons that I think make a good place for starting discussion about why Metallica outsold KISS. They're probably not the only reasons. There's probably plenty more. This is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music, please drop it in the section below. And remember to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.